Hello everybody, welcome back to Savi Tutorials. Today we will start with the graph problems related to module 2 that is compaction. In compaction you will have two types of problem. First we will see what is the type 1 problem. In the type 1 problem the question is the result of a compaction test on soil are as given below. So they will give you moisture content and they will give you bulk unit weight. From these two values you need to plot the graph for dry unit weight and moisture content and then determine the maximum dry density with respect to that the corresponding moisture content. So before starting up with the calculation part first we need to analyze what are the things which is required. So they have given us the moisture content, they have given us the bulk unit weight and they have asked us to plot the graph. So when you are plotting the graph the x axis will be water content and the y axis will be dry unit weight. So they have just given you bulk unit weight but you need to calculate what is the dry unit weight of the soil. So now we'll. Uh, so when we are plotting this compaction curve, you should have a water content on the x-axis. You should have dry unit weight on the y-axis. Plot these points. The highest point from the highest point of the curve, draw a horizontal line and then a vertical line to get maximum dry density and the optimum moisture content. So these two are the outcomes of plotting the compaction graph. It may be any type of compaction graph. The main outcome from the graph will be MDD and OMC that is maximum dry density and optimum moisture content. Now we will move on to the calculation part. So as I said you we need to calculate dry unit weight to plot the graph. So they have just given you moisture content and bulk unit weight. By using these two values you need to calculate what is the dry unit weight of the soil. So the formula to calculate the dry unit weight of the soil that is gamma D will be equal to the bulk unit weight divided by 1 plus W. So for each and every trial you need to calculate what is the dry unit weight. So the first trial your bulk unit weight is 19.23 divided by your water content is 9%. So 1 plus as it is in percentage so it is 9 divided by 100. See overall for the first trial the dry unit weight will be 17.64 kilo newton per meter cube. So this is how you calculate the dry unit weight of the soil. So this value is for the first trial that is 17.64. In the same way you need to calculate dry density for all the moisture content values. So start calculating for the second thing it will be 18.61. For the third one it is 19.73. Next. 19.57, next it is 18.98, next 18.07. Now we have got the values which is required to plot the graph that is the moisture content and bulk unit weight. Now we will start plotting the graph. So as I told you previously only we require moisture content or water content values on the x axis and dry unit weight on the y axis. So we have already cal calculated now we will start plotting the graph. Now first before fixing the scale for both x axis and y axis we need to know what is the least value of moisture content, what is the highest value of the moisture content. So next we should start with the least value. Here the least value is 9 percent so we will start with 9. So 9 till the highest value that is 16. In the same way you can do it for the dry unit weight also. Your least value is 17.64 and the highest value is a 19.73. So we will start with the least value 17 and we will end up till 20. So for this you can write the scale your x axis scale 1 unit will be equal to 1 percent your y axis scale 1 unit will be equal to 0.5 kilo newton per meter cube. Okay next we will start with the plotting of the graph. The first moisture content is 9 with respect to that the dry unit weight is 17.64. So 9 17.64. Next 10.2 and 
Next it is 12.5 and 19.73, 12.5 and 19.73. Next you have 13.4 and 19.57, some 13.4 and 19.57. Next 14.8 and 18.98, 14.8 is here and 18.98 is here. The last point is 16 and 18.07 so somewhere here now you need to join all these points by a curve so this we call it as a compaction curve now from this you need to calculate what is the omc and mdd take a scale mark the highest point of the curve so from the highest point, so this is the highest point, from the highest point draw a horizontal line and then a vertical line. So I have drawn a vertical line and now I will be drawing the horizontal line. to calculate what is OMC and MDD. So what is OMC? OMC is equal to optimum moisture content value. So here OMC is nothing but 12.5 percent. Here the optimum moisture content or uh, here MDD will be equal to that is 19.7. So this is the outcome of drawing the compaction curve that is OMC will be equal to 12.5 percent and MDD will be equal to 19.7 kilonewton per meter cube.